Now I want to look a little more at constants here. As I've already explained, a constant is an identifier, a bit like a variable, except during the execution of your program, you don't expect the value of a constant to be changed. I've already looked at how to declare a constant using hash define, and that's the traditional way of defining a constant in the C language. It's the way that's been used for many decades, ever since the C language was first implemented. Now, there is, in fact, another way of declaring a constant. In the program 03 underscore calc, you'll see that I've rewritten my tax calculator, which I've used in previous examples. First, up here you'll see I've just used a variable to store the tax rate. Now a variable can change, so I've set tax rate at 0 0.175, and later on I've set it at 0 0.2. Now, why would I do that? Well, normally I wouldn't want to do that. And in a small program like this, it's rather obvious that I've made a mistake. But of course, in the real world, C programs are often thousands or tens of thousands of lines in length. And in a very complicated program, a programmer might redefine a variable accidentally because the place at which it was defined originally and the place at which it was redefined might be separated by many hundreds of lines of code. So, I've decided I don't want that to happen, so I've rewritten my code using a hash defined constant, tax rate underscore defined, and I've set it to, well, up here I've set it to 0 0.175, but look what's happened. I've made the same mistake as when I used the variable down below. I've reset its value, I've given it a new value. Now, even though hash defines are often used to define constants. In a way, you could argue that these are not really and truly constants, because they can be redefined. In modern implementations of C, there is another way. And the way to do that is to define an identifier, and here I've got one tax rate underscore const, as a const. Const is a keyword, and it's followed normally by the type of the constant, so the declaration is similar to a declaration of a variable. I've given it a type, and then I assign, using the assignment operator, a value to it. And when I try to redefine it down here, I've got this in a comment at the moment, let me take this out. And now I try to build. And what happens? Well, I've got an error message. Build with errors. No, I don't want to continue. So I get rid of that. See what's the problem. And it says error assignment of read only. Well, it calls a read only variable. Tax rate underscore const. So constant actually looks like a variable, but it cannot be redefined because I've declared it with the const keyword. So that's a difference between constants de declared with const and constants declared with hash define. Let me correct my program. I can't redefine this, so I'll comment it out. Save, build, and run again. And this time it all works. But bear in mind that I have redefined the hash defined constant. It's up here at 0 0.175, and later I've redefined it. But if I look at the output in the build window, I'm given a warning. It warns me that it's been redefined. This identifier has been redefined. So it's not a desirable thing to redefine something that's been hash defined in this way, and the compiler knows that it's unlikely to be correct. The syntax is actually correct, and it is allowable. So if you use hash define, be aware that it's not absolutely guaranteed to be protected from redefinition, whereas if you use const, then it is guaranteed, and the compiler won't let you compile a program in which that const has been redefined.